Hi, Lisa. Thanks again for these talks. They're great question, please. What are your thoughts on drugs like LSD, DMT and mushrooms, etc., with regards to convincing people to start the spiritual search or just your thoughts on the general psychedelics? So um, I don't recommend anyone to do drugs or to do anything illegal. Um, and I don't think it's a necessity for the spiritual path. Um, so, yeah, there's no encouragement. <laughs> uh, and um, there's no support of that. However, I, I say that so you can't come back and sue me if you do decide to try, try drugs. I'm sure, I don't know if it protects me or not. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, but um, I think what happens with particularly psychedelics is, and maybe it also happens with alcohol and other substances as well, and why there's an element of addiction there, is that it, it knocks out you to a greater or lesser sen a, a, a sense. So you, the one that attaches to, to thoughts and feelings, gets knocked out of the way. And so there's a touching on something bigger than you, that something's experiencing beyond you. Even if you have a really big trip, I think that's a really big, really bad trip. I think that's what's happening. Yeah. And I think there's great research about um, illegal drugs like LSD and mushrooms and um, marijuana and ecstasy and therapeutic practices. It's just that drug companies and our governments are so biased a lot because a lot of the government is most probably still of the age where they were under the war on drugs illusion you know where it was like all drugs are bad and um and come from foreign countries and uh and so the, there's this indoctrination that they had and then they're, they're creating policies but i think it is changing because you know, research says that shows that they often can be more effective therapeutically than a lot of other medications given. And I think that um, that um, yeah, is having a positive effect on the research. But yeah, the other problem is is that pharmaceutical companies are very contented with the money they're already making from antidepressants. They don't actually want something which, um, you know, is just something that they can't keep repetitively selling. That's another problem as well. 